Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to BeamNG Drive version 0.27. If you guys missed my original video on the new update, I'll have it linked down below. Check it out. I think it's a pretty good video. But what this video is, is uh, the first of probably many parts uh, where we take a little bit more of a deep dive into the newest vehicles added into the game. And this one is arguably the best and my personal favorite car in the game now. This is the Dune Kicker, the SP Dune Kicker. And I, I know a lot of people were kind of confused uh, because we already kind of have a, a trophy truck-esque uh, vehicle in the game. The D-Series actually, where is the, there it is. The D-Series actually does have kind of a similar car, but they are uh, different. This is, uh, it's a pre-runner, I guess. Let's spawn it up so we can kind of compare them here. This is obviously a beast of a truck, but the Dune Kicker is like that on steroids. It's uh, way more specialized for especially this kind of environment. We're at the Dune, we're at the Dune Kicker HQ, by the way. This is right next to the new uh, track, which we will uh, take a drive on right now, but this thing uh, It just handles exactly how you would think it's very very heavy very slidey in the back end But that's kind of what you want and the shock system on this is Just amazing in fact. I have an idea. Let's go back To one of these jumps here, and I'm gonna set the relative cam to kind of underneath the truck so let's get this right here, and where is... Do I have the relative cam? I do. Okay, there we go. So let's, like, put this... It's going to be kind of hard to drive like this, but I think we'll be okay. Now... Oh, that's kind of sick, actually. Let's get some air here so you can see the suspension in action. Look at that, man! <laughs> I think there's a turn here. Oh, God. Let's not flip the car over. Yeah, I think... Okay. I kind of know the track, but not really, obviously. But just, oh my, there's just something so, I hate to use this word because it's very overused, but it's satisfying, man. It's so, uh-oh. It's so satisfying. You can go over pretty much any jump in this thing and probably be A-OK. -okay. Now, this isn't even the most extreme version of this truck. We actually have uh, a few here to choose from the Dune Kicker. Uh, this is what I'm using, the Stadium version, high-revving engine and a chassis focused on handling, make this truck excel in short courses and stadium-style racing. So I guess that would probably be the best for where, what we're actually on right now. But we also have the TT1 Unlimited with a fire-breathing big block V8 and a purpose-built chassis. Unlimited trucks are the apex predator of the open desert. The only rule is there are no rules. So this is more type, like the sand dune racing. Uh, tri type truck and then we have the TT2 spec the unlimited trucks little brother uh, the spec truck e Evens the playing field with a production engine that makes it a driver's class So I guess a little bit more uh, a little bit less insane than the TT1 But since we're on kind of the uh, the stadium atmosphere here, let's take this thing around this I guess you could just call it the dune kicker track Let's take this thing around and see how we can do it. Oh, and by the way, a little sneak peek of probably the next video you're going to see. Uh, me and Komodo got like 12 people all in this truck, all on this uh, this track. And it was, yeah, about as, <laughs> it was about as chaotic as you could hope for. Dust flying everywhere, so be on the lookout for that. Probably tomorrow, actually. There's a lot of beam content coming up this week. So, yeah, giant update means we get a lot of videos. We still got to do... Uh, the new Baja Piccolina. Uh, probably a deep dive on this map, to be honest. And, of course, uh, the big van thing, or the big square to the, uh, what's it called? Stambeco, that's what it's called. We gotta do a video on the Stambeco and, of course, the ATV. I think I might actually try to fit two into this video because we also have the rock, the rock thing, the, the egg-shaped car. But we'll take a, uh, a look at that in just a minute. We are absolutely tearing up this track. Let's take the long way so we can kind of go up the side of this mountain here. Shouldn't be any problem whatsoever for this truck. So there we go. Okay. Cut that a little bit too, too tight, but that's okay. We're going to get some big air here. Not a problem whatsoever. This thing is good for your tailbone. That's for sure. And across the line. So let's drive out here because we're going to go way out into the desert, into the dunes, uh, to try out the other version, the unlimited 
because that thing is an absolute monster on the sand dunes. I think there's some sand dunes over here. Maybe I'm thinking wrong. Hold on. Let's pull up the map. Uh, where's the sand dune? There they are. Okay. So we need, I know there's like a, there it is. If we, yeah, the remote pit. So we spawn right here. This should put us right next to the dunes. There we go. Okay. Let's get that, uh, that unlimited up. This absolute freaking monster, man. This thing is ridiculous. Just, just, <laughs> just look at this thing. It's so good, man. There we go. And let's just absolutely tear this thing up, man. Straight to the dunes. And it just absolutely flies, man. It's so good. Don't lose it, though. I will say, though, if you get it sideways, there is a fairly good chance that you are going to flip it. It's just uh, it just comes with the territory. Uh, but the good news is you can probably drive away from it. This thing is a, is a, a tough SOB. There we go. Let's even go a little bit more off road into the actual dunes there. Little land rush action for you. Oh, that's fine. We can get out. I don't know how much this thing weighs, but we can just get. Oh. And peel off the skin, apparently. That's fine, though. This thing's tough. I'm sure we're going to be okay. Yeah, we're fine. We're absolutely fine. I think I did actually bend the front right a little bit the wrong way, but I, I don't think it's going to matter too much. Relatively speaking. Oh. A lot of, actually, no, let's reset. <laughs> just because I don't want to have to fight the truck the whole way. I just want to just be in absolute off-road bliss for a minute. Whoa. Nice. Oh, it's so it's so glorious. It really is. Oh, beam. This is why Beam and G is the, the the car lover's dream. Anything you could possibly ever want, you can do it in this game. It's it's an absolute thing of beauty. So here we go, another big jump. Whoop! Oh, kind of a bad bounce there. I think we're okay though. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, <laughs> let's get a little first person action because why not? One of my favorite. Did I break something? Uh-oh. Oh, I did bring something. Oh, yeah, that's not that's not right. <laughs> anyway, one of my favorite little Easter eggs of this thing is it says this this side up signed the pit crew. It, I think it says something else. If running rough has never. Uh, can you guys read this chicken scratch? I can't read that. I don't know. Somebody can decipher that, right? But yeah, this thing is uh, very purpose built. We even got the uh, co-pilot with his own with his own GPS and dash over there. I guess if you're running this in like kind of like a Dakar type event, that's really all I could think uh, you would need that stuff for. But yeah, you guys get it. This thing is a freaking monster. Off road, it's an off road monster. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> I don't know how we're fine after that, but we're fine. It flayed the. Uh, the skid a little bit on that one yikes all right so let's check out something else shall we this thing right here the rock basher now we have we have the nitrous version which means a low center of gravity with plenty of horsepower and massive tires to make the rock bounce so the fastest way up the mountain of your choice arm the nitrous lock the differential and hold on let's do that shall we actually you know i think there is some crawling events on this map now now i don't know if we actually use that car but i think we might be able to just uh switch at least that's how it's worked in the past so let's try vander walls vertigo that looks interesting that's like straight rocks so let's, see, let's see if this thing can actually conquer it all right we can use our uh the, the car we want here so follow the route up the steep face keep your wits about you in case your car rolls over backwards uh, your goal is to reach the end of the crawling course. If you leave the area for five seconds, you will fail the mission. Reach a yellow checkpoint. Yada, yada, yada. We get it, okay? Nitrous arms. <laughs> oh, God. All right, let's see how she does. So far, so good. So far, really good, actually. My goodness. It's, <laughs> it's, it's too easy, man. Look at the flex on this thing. Also... Good way to show off the new rock textures as well. They're beautiful. I don't know if they're photo scanned, but they might as well be. They did not need to go that hard on rocks. That's all I know. Uh-oh. Back it up a second. Back it up. Give it a little bit more gas. And we're fine. <laughs> Give me something hard, man. Oh. Like butter. It, 
<laughs> we are flying. I'm not even in the fastest version of this car. I don't think anyway. But we are still just absolutely destroying this course. It's it's disgusting. It really is. You gotta love it. Whoa. Whoa. Rain it in a little bit. There we go. Okay, a little bit of smooth er road. Oh, okay, that looks a little tricky. Or not. <laughs> We're fine. This is this terrain is insane, by the way. If you're into crawling, definitely come to this spot. Because this is beautiful. Maybe we could do some multiplayer with this. I don't know. I think it could probably work. Okay, how am I going to get up this hill? Oh, wait, I forgot we're in the Rock Basher. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We got the DOS as well. I wonder if that's actually helping me or not. I mean, I assume it is. But we should not... It should not be physically possible to get over that that quick. Jesus! Three stars. First try. Yeah, this thing's... Just a, just a little bit OP, I would say. All right, let's try the race one, and we'll do one more uh, little scenario here. So let's try... What's the, Is this just a... Aren't they all rock crawlers? Solid axles, low gearing, lots of torque. Make this one a really good rock crawler. Or the Rock Racer, truly a jack of all trades. Built for versatility and speed in the most grueling terrain the desert has to offer. Okay, well, I want to try this one. I just want to see if we can somehow go even faster man this is a freaking thumbnail if i ever did see one though so let's just go ahead and uh, <laughs> sorry guys i mean come on though look at that <laughs> beautiful all right um so i think there was actually two at that location that we were just at for this one right there so let's go back to here and i believe if we click this Yes, there is. Okay, can you make the gecko stick? No, because we're going to use a, a different car. I'm sure it'll be fine, though. Okay, so this is fairly similar, only this time we got to take it to the root, uh, to the top of the root, and go back. So we got to go back down. That's. <laughs> I'm sure we're going to be fine, but, you know, it's a little nerve-wracking. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Yeah, this thing's pretty quick. Oh, it's got a lot of... <laughs> get up and go that could be a little dangerous if i give it if i gave it too much gas in the wrong spot we are we are going to be doing a backflip it's <laughs> it's probably going to happen but I, i'm kind of just speed running this right now oh oh we're okay we're okay whoa okay this uh oh this route is a, a little bit trickier it's just a little bit more vertical if you catch my drift oh there we go Hey, we got some clean, clean roads, mostly. Oh. I feel like I've been on my back two wheels longer than I've been on all fours. That's a, <laughs> a little worrying. I may have prophesized the the backflip scenario here. You know, if I, if I were smart, I'd put it into low gears. But, uh, ain't nobody got time for that. How do I get through this? Uh, maybe I can, like... Do one of these. <laughs> I mean, that kind of worked. Oh my, oh my God. You know, I'm starting to think maybe this wasn't built for this. I think we, I think we might be a little too low to the ground. This, I didn't know, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I didn't know that the, the rock crawling challenges got like this intense. Wow, okay, um, I think we're done. <laughs> I mean, we did get a checkpoint, though, so actually, no, let's do this. All right, low range. Locked diffs. Let's try this. We'll be fine. We just got to believe in ourselves, okay? Oh! Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're okay. We're okay. We're a, a bit stuck between a rock and a uh, rock, but... Oh, my God. That is disgusting what I just did. We might actually make it to the checkpoint. <laughs> oh my god. Keep it up. There you go, buddy. We did it. Please tell me that was the hardest checkpoint. We do have to go back down though. I'm forgetting that. I think this is the I think this is the top right here. Or do we go a different way down? Okay. We gotta take it slow here. 
Probably a little slower than this, but you know, full sand, why not? We're fine. <laughs> We're at the rock basher, we'll be fine. You just gotta keep that in mind. Oh! <laughs> Am I getting really lucky or is this thing just, just that insane? It's gotta be the car, right? It can't be me. I'm not, I'm not any good at rock crawling. You guys, if you've been around, you know that. I think this thing just really is that nutty. Oh! <laughs> no. That wasn't even the car's fault. That was my fault. Well, you can't win them all, I guess. So yeah, this is going to be part one of the new update series. This is the probably, I guess you could say they're the two biggest vehicles. Well, I actually know we haven't even covered the biggest one. Literally, the Stabeco. That's like a, a van truck thing. That'll be the next video, though. Stay tuned. Uh, and again, if you haven't seen my original update video, I put a ton of work into that thing. And it got like 120,000 views in like one day. Kind of insane for my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. And all the new people are here. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you haven't subbed yet, you're going to want to because I upload stuff like this pretty much every day. You don't want to miss it. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.